<clears throat> so I wanted to do um, uh, part two because I, I can only do this video in these videos in 15 minute increments. Um, but I wanted to do part two of answering this question that um, this woman asked Benjamin David in Christ who didn't answer it fully and uh, even added his own um, doctrine onto it. And uh, I love you, Benjamin David in Christ, but you, you're you wrong. <clears throat> um, and God bless you. So, um, yeah, it says... Um, for if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of truth, there remaineth no sacrifice for sins. So if you know that it is true that Jesus Christ came here and died for your sins, and you've accepted him as Lord, Savior, Messiah, and Redeemer, but you have willfully engaged in sin, and saying, oh, it's it's okay because I'm covered by the blood of Christ. Well, there remains um, no more sacrifice for sins, as the, the scriptures say. And um, all sins have to be atoned for. If you want to go to heaven, or if you're going into the millennial reign, or if you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior and Messiah and Redeemer, and and you know that that is true and you still willfully engage in sin then you will get things like uh, sicknesses and trials and tribulations and um you know benjamin david he says we were sanctified um sanctified once and for all by the blood of jesus christ which is true but again right here if we willfully if we sin willfully, after we've received the knowledge, knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sin. So that's that would be like trampling on the blood of Jesus Christ. And he gives an Old Testament um, response. Um, he, he, he relates what he was saying to this, um, this scripture in the Old Testament. And he said, I, I like it. He says where he says I like where it says um, in in the Old Testament that um, the altar sprinkled with blood seven times is most holy, and whatever touched the altar became holy, and that's in Scripture. That's true, but what he doesn't um, what he doesn't say is that in the book of Haggai it says Yahweh Sabbath says this. Ask the priest for a decision on this question. If a man carries consecrated meat, and consecrated is um, is kind of it's it's kind of a def, uh, one of the words that relates to being sanctified. Sanctified in Hebrew is set apart, dedication, purity, consecration. So it says if a if a man carries consecrated meat in the fold of his gown and with this fold touches bread, broth, wine, or food of any kind, does such food become holy? The priest answered, No, it does not. Haggai then said, If a man made unclean by contact with a corpse touches any of this, does it become unclean? The priest answered, Yes, it does. Haggai then spoke out, It is the same with this people. He said, The same with the nation. As I see it, it is Yahweh's Sabbath who speaks. Is Yahweh who speaks? The same with everything they turn their hands to, and whatever they offer here is unclean. Um, so he, you know, some of the things that Benjamin David was saying is true, and it's scriptures. But he's not. He doesn't see these other things because the, the truth is not in him because he doesn't believe in holding the commandments and and he says that that when we say that that we are trying to buy our way in by by um, holding the commandments and that's not true we are holding we we are told to keep which is to guard the commandments um, because we love our father and we're in a relationship with him
And it's just like if you're in a relationship with somebody, a wife, or you have a husband, etc. Um, or not etc. Either a wife or a husband. Um, that you do the things, you know, we are made in God's image and likeness. So that that is a, in, in a relationship with a man or a woman. That is the physical manifestation of how it is in heaven. When you love somebody, you're going to do things that... Um, that you know that they appreciate and that you know that they love and you're going to do things that you know that makes them happy see they claim these these people like benjamin david and christ they claim that they have a relationship with god but they don't act they, they're not exemplifying their love in the relationship and that's really sad you know but yet they claim to be in this relationship with God. And remember, not all the, on that day, not all those who call, who say, Lord, Lord, haven't we prophesied in your name? And, you know, they're not all going to enter into, um, they're not all going to see the Lord. Um, because he's going to say, get away from me. I never knew you. And what, you know, when you know something, that means you've known them intimately. So the children of God, who who God does know, they have the Holy Spirit inside of them, right? Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to um, do that, do that, um, make that second part on that, um, to shed light on the truth in that question that that woman answered. And um, so I love you guys and God bless.